Salut les raids et bienvenue au corps pour aujourd'hui. Alors, right guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're actually gonna learn and study something that you guys know nothing about. We're gonna talk about fashion today. So by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to talk about clothes, what you wear, and also what you're going to wear. So our vocabulary for today is clothes, but we're going to do some revision on some key pieces of grammar that you must know by the end of key stage three, which is only a few weeks away for you year eight. We're going to do adjectives and agreements looking at colour adjectives, we're also going to do even more important for the GCC, you're going to be looking at the near future tense, this is a huge target for us today, we've seen it before, you've seen it in year seven, we're going to make sure you know this inside out, back to front, all of this is coming at you today, so let's make a start. Alors, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire, s'il vous plaît, il faut copier la date, ou plutôt inventer la date pour moi, s'il vous plaît, copier le titre du genre, mon style vestimentaire, et Aujourd'hui, c'est un peu différent pour le contrôle de post-it. Cette fois, j'ai pris les prénoms. Il faut trouver la paire entre le français et l'anglais sans le prénom. Comment faire ça? Alors, regardez la fin des mots. Regardez le temps va porter, vont porter et pensez passé, présent, futur. Alors, Mettez-moi ce pause, mes petits. Put me on pause. Copy down our date and title. Then when you're done, and when do the post to note test, then when you're done, restart the video. And I'm going to tell you a bit more about the video and I'll go for your answers. Bon courage. On y va. Hello, mes petits. You're right, guys. If you listen to me now, you've got the date and title in your book. <coughs> and you've had a good go at control de post Let's talk about that in a second. First, today then, look at our objective. We're going to be talking about what style of clothes you like. So what's your style? We're going to go through and learn the clothes vocabulary. And there's two parts to it. We're going to say what we usually wear in the present tense and what we're going to wear in the future tense. Revising these two tenses today, which is what our control de post is all about to see if you can do it. We're going to match up some language. We're going to see what you know. I'm going to talk you through the grammar carefully today because as you're at home during lockdown, it's the ideal time for you to practice and think about these grammar points and get good because it's something you can do and study at home. Then we're going to learn the vocabulary, play a few speaking games and we'll finish with a lockdown lotto. Sadly, we can't actually play lotto for prizes. I've saved a lot of money during lockdown, but we can have a little go and we can test you on what you know from how well you can do a lockdown lotto. Donc, ça, c'est ce qu'on va faire aujourd'hui. Le contrôle de post-it ici, you should be getting all five of these year eight. Let's see how we've got them. All right, our first one. So for all of them, I've taken away the pronoun, the je, the tu, the il, elle, on, to make it a bit tougher for you. So you have to look at the verb endings and what tense they're in. So the first one, porte, just with e on the end, is e. I wear. Je is the missing word. And porte is our verb today to wear. It's an ER verb, so you take off the ER, chop off the ER, follows the pattern, and E is the je pattern, and then portant with an O and S matches to we wear. Nu portant, nu is our missing word. Alors, numéro 3, va porter, et numéro 4, vont porter. First off, what tense are they in? Va and vont come from aller, so if you're going to do something, it's in the future tense. How does Ali change? We're going to have a little revision today. Think about the song. It goes, je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va. And therefore, il va, elle va is going to be C. She's going to wear. Then it goes, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. So that's going to be they're going to wear. See what I did there? This is all in the future tense. We're revising the tense in one and two and three and four today. Numéro cinq. On ne va pas faire aujourd'hui, but we've done it before. You know this rule so well. A porter. A is from avoir. So you have the have. E with an accent puts it in the past for an ER verb. So it is me. He. War. Voilà. Right, guys. You should be getting all five of those. I'm sure you've done well. We're going to do a bit more revision on this now. Je vais expliquer en français. On frock, I've put a sheet up for you. Load that sheet up now and have a little look at it. On y va. Et voilà mes petits, une activité facile pour commencer. So, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire ici dans la boîte bleue Vous avez le nouveau vocabulaire en français 
Ici, dans la boîte en rouge, vous avez le nouveau vocabulaire en anglais. Il faut trouver la paire entre le français et l'anglais. Par exemple, une mini jupe blanche veut dire E. A white mini skirt, mini jupe. Et regardez les couleurs blanches. Un t-shirt blanc. Allez, trouvez la paire, mes petits. Aujourd'hui, je veux 4. 6 sera bien. 11, 11 sera fantastique. N'oubliez pas la défi additionnel ici mes petits la défi additionnel il faut traduire en français I'm going to wear a black shirt I'm going to play netball you might have to use what you've just matched to help you out on that this is pretty easy going for my year 8 geniuses donc je vais vous donner seulement deux minutes mes petits deux minutes pour faire cette activité bon courage put me on pause for two minutes When you've done all you can in that two minutes, have a go at the extra challenge as well. Restart the video and I'll go through the answers. Toi, deux, un, allez! Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, how did you get on? I hope you found this quite straightforward. We've got some new vocabulary, revi revision of colours, and revision of tenses. I know you'd have smashed through this. So remember, I want six or more today. Let's see what we've got. The first one we did together. Facile, numéro deux. Un t-shirt blanc veut dire D. A white t-shirt, évidemment. Hang on a second, year right? I thought the word for white was blanche, but now blanc is the word for white. Where's that? We'll be looking at that later. Alors, let's spoiler. Numéro 3, un sac à main rose. Et numéro 4, un sac à main violet. C'est quoi la différence? C'est le couleur rose, veut dire pink. Violet ou violette is purple. Et voilà, donc c'est A, un pink handbag, et K. A purple handbag. Alors, numéro 5. Un sweat violet. We just said what violet is. Un sweat is like a sweater. Et donc, c'est C. A purple sweater or a purple jumper. Alors, numéro 6 et numéro 7. C'est les couleurs encore qui les séparent. Donc, on a une écharpe violette et une écharpe jaune. Alors, c'est quoi la différence? Violet, c'est purple, le masculin. Violette, c'est purple, féminin. Donc, 6, c'est H, a purple scarf. Et 7, une écharpe jaune. Et I, a yellow scarf. Et voilà. Alors, donc, 8, 9 et 10. C'est quoi la différence ici? J'ai pris le prénom. Et on n'y a pas de je, tu, il est long, nu, vu, ils, ils. Donc, comment savoir la différence? C'est le fin du verbe. Donc, porte, portant. Porte avec ENT, donc pensez de la mode. What's that pattern? Think about that you have abandoned and you should have. It should be je porte, donc c'est G, I wear. Portons, ONS is always new, donc c'est B, we wear. Et donc ENT, ending in ENT is always they, donc c'est J, they wear. Bon effort tu, si tu as fait ça. Et numéro 11, je vais porter. It's our only one in the future. Je vais means I'm going. Portes are infinitive, so it means two verb. I'm going to wear qui est F. Et voilà. Right, guys. <coughs> I said I wanted more than six there. There's an extra challenge. Il dit, <laughs> despite saying to translate in English, you have to translate in French. Traduisez en français. I'm going to wear a black skirt. I'm going to play netball. All right, so there's a bit of help over here with une mini jupe to help you out. Let's see what you've got. You should have. Je vais porter une jupe noire. Je vais jouer au netball. Excellent if you've done this. This is tricky. It's got to be perfect to get the mark. Why have I put an extra E in pink or noir? Why do you think I have done that? Hint, hint. And then, why is it je vais porter, je vais jouer? This is what we're going to talk about today. We'll be revising colours, we'll be revising the present sense, we'll be revising the future. If you match these up, you're pretty good already. Let's up the difficulty that little bit then. Alors, la prochaine activité, we're still on the sheet, guys. Look at the next activity down. On y va. Alors, mes enfants, la prochaine activité, c'est un peu plus compliqué. Cette fois, dans la boîte bleue, vous avez les questions en français. D'accord Et dans la boîte en orange, cette fois, vous avez les réponses. Alors, ce qu'il faut faire, trouver la paire entre la question et la réponse. Je vous donne un exemple. Numéro 1, la question dit, décris 
ton style qui veut dire en anglais describe your style as in like your fashion style I know your style you're right is whatever your mom buys you mais pour les autres on a un style donc décris ton style utilisez les couleurs pour vous aider donc c'est jaune avec jaune décris ton style il y a un deux trois possibilités donc décris ton style le style sportif ne me plaît pas Hmm, that's saying what you don't like. So it's not talking about your style. I'm not going to go for A. Non. Alors, il y a deux qui restent. Décris ton style. Mon style, c'est le style scatter. Ou, décris ton style. Je porte un jean bleu et un t-shirt si il fait beau. Hmm, non, that's saying what you wear. This is my style look. Et voilà. Donc, j'ai trouvé la paire. Il faut faire exactement la même chose avec question 2, 3, 4, 5 et 6 pour moi, s'il vous plaît. Si on finit le tour, il y a un chasse au trésor. La deuxième activité, c'est ici. Il faut chercher dans les questions et les réponses. <coughs> Excusez-moi, un peu le vocabulaire ici. Par exemple, your look, I've already found that it's going to be ton style. Right, that in there. Ton style. I'm so good at this. I wear, there's two ways to say that, I'm going to wear. Alors donc, cherchez dans les textes pour les mots ici, s'il vous plaît. Donc, pour cette activité, c'est plus difficile. Let's say four minutes for this, guys, on your phones. Put yourself a timer for four minutes. See what you can do in four minutes time when you've done your best. Restart the video and I'll go through the answers and we'll break it down. Guys, j'ai oublié. I'm after six today. Look at the green box. Six will be a pretty good score for both activities. Yeah, that's the pass mark. 8, ce sera très bien. 12 ou plus, there's 14 in total. 12 ou 14, ce sera magnifique, mes petits. Right, guys, pause me now. I'll see you in 4 minutes time. Bon courage, hein? On y va. Alors, mes petits, if you listen to me now, you have done as best you can and you're ready for a réponse. Let's see what you can do then. Alors, donc, le premier, on a fait ensemble. Prenez un stylo rouge pour moi et corrigez du propre travail. Numéro 2. Dis, quel style est-ce que tu détestes? Qui veut dire en anglais, what style do you hate? Il y avait deux possibilités. A, U, D. Et c'est A, le style sportif ne me plaît pas. Now, this is a really nice GCC synonym. So, détester is to hate. And here they put ne me plaît pas. It's another way of saying je n'aime pas. So, you need to recognize this and know this is a negative. This says what style do you hate? And then over here it says the sports style doesn't like, doesn't please me, doesn't do anything for me. This is a really nice synonym. Et finalement, numéro 3, qu'est-ce que tu portes pour aller en ville? Qui veut dire en anglais, what do you wear to go to town? Donc, D, c'est la solution. Je porte un jean bleu et un t-shirt s'il fait beau. This is our weather, if it's nice weather. So, this is what you wear to go to town. I wear blue jeans and a t-shirt if it's nice weather. Alors, numéro 4. Qu'est-ce que tu vas porter pour la fête de Max? Attention! What tense is this in? Your answer's got to be in the same tense. And where they're going? What is in fit? Think about these two things. It says all together, what are you going to wear, future tense, for Max's party? All right, so you've got two clues. The answer's got to be in the future, and it's got to be like party clothes. Okay, so let's look for our options. Let's start at the bottom. Je mets en jogging et en t-shirt de Mac Nike. I mean, maybe in certain you would go to a party wearing that, but most people wouldn't. Alors, eux, ils vont porter une costume bleu. This is talking about what they are doing. I want what you are doing. It's got to be B. Je vais porter une chemise de Mac Ralph Lauren. Your best shirt. Et voilà. So, four down. Numéro 5. Qu'est-ce que tu portes pour faire du sport? Okay, so E and F are left. Which one of these is the most sporty? It's got to be. Je mets en jogging et en t-shirt de Mac Nike. Voilà. Et finalement, qu'est-ce qu'ils vont porter pour le mariage? Qui dit... What are they going to wear for the wedding? What would you wear to a wedding? You'd wear a suit if you're a boy, which is what he says. Ils vont porter une costume bleu. Now, I love this. A suit in French 
is in costume, not like a fancy dress wedding, you wear a costume to it. In costume is how you say a suit. Voila, All right guys, give yourself a mark out of six for our first task. Remember this is for both activities together. Les deux ensemble. Donc activité de your look is ton style. On va parler de mon style aujourd'hui. I wear, il y a deux moyens pour dire ça, is je pas, is I wear. You can also say, I'll go into green like we have in F, je mette, which comes from the verb mettre, which is to play something, but it can also mean to put on. So you can say, je pas, I wear, ou je mette, which means I put on. I'm going to wear in the future tense. So if je pas, as I wear, put it into the future, you need a bit that says going, and then you need to change our second verb into an infinitive. It should be, je vais partir. Voilà. Max's party is la fête de Max, the party of Max. Designer, so the only designer example here is Ralph Lauren. So what's the word for designer? It's this, le Mac. The quelque chose de Mac is designer. Of the mark is what it means. And if you think about designer clothes, they've always got like a logo or a mark on them that shows you who made them. That's the point of buying them. Et voilà. Donc, if it's nice weather, s'il fait beau. Blue jeans, you don't say blue jeans in French. How do you say it? Jeans blues. Donc, c'est un jean bleu. And then a blue suit, c'est une costume bleu. Et voilà. All right, guys. Give yourself a mark at how many you done. <laughs> 14, c'est le maximum. I told you I wanted eight or more. No, six or more would be good. Eight or more, fantastic. 14, c'est le maximum. Bon effort, mes petits. What we're going to do now is let's look at some of the grammar and the important things here. Alors, mes petits four key questions today now pretty much all of this is revision but lockdown is the ideal time to to revise these key things to go away and practice them and take the next steps and really control your learning that's how you get good so first off let's look at our verb du genre qui est porter our verb to wear et voilà porter is a regular er verb like most verbs in french therefore it follows the regular pattern Key question then, what happens to a verb when we talk about others? It ch -ch -ch changes and that's what's happening here and it follows a p -p -p pattern so we know how to change the verb. First thing to that first, what you do to the ER on the end of it, you need to why are, chop it off so you've just got pot. So with the ER on the end, it's the infinitive, it means to wear, we get rid of this so then you've got pot and then you need our pattern to help you remember it. Remember we've got the football chant for our ER verb and then it goes E, E, S, E, E, E. We say this three times because it's for il, el, and on. He, she, and one. <laughs> From the top. E, E, S, E, E, E. O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. E, E, S, E, E, E. O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. Guys, this will help you with every regular ER verb. You've got to know this pattern. Pa, cur, off by heart. This is the present tense. You're going to use this today. But. We're also using the future tense. So put me on pause. You should be able to answer all the next questions. See if you can, then hit play. And I'm going to go through them one by one by one. Hello, year eight. The future tense is a year eight must know. You probably know already, but let's go through it in detail to make sure if you don't know, you can revise it, you can practice it, you can master it during lockdown to make sure you're ready for next year. Hello. So. Before we look at the future tense and the theory, let's look at English and how we change a verb and put it in the future tense, because French follows exactly the same method. So look at the first sentence, I wear a t-shirt and jeans. Look at the next one, I'm going to wear a t-shirt and jeans. Easy. The first one's the present tense, the second one's the future tense. What's changed? We've added two bits. We've added a bit, there we go. We've added a bit that says going, but I put I am going. That's got to change. I can't say you am going to wear, he am going, they am going. The verb's going to change. I also need to say to wear or to do or to think or to be. And for this, we need a different method in French as well. So those are the two parts of the future tense you need to know. A bit that says I'm going or are going or is going. And then we need to verb. Let's look at how to do those. So first things first, obviously you need a pronoun, so you need the person doing the verb, you know all of these. The next bit then, 
We can't say you am going, he am going, she am going. We need our verb to go, which is ali, which is an irregular verb. So it changes differently. There's no pattern. You've got to learn it. Luckily, the most annoying song in the world is here for you to be able to learn this. I'm not going to play this on this video. I'll put a link in the description. You can watch this video there all the time. You need to learn this verb off by heart. Every single year eight at Glenthorne should know this in the country, should know this verb off by heart. The song is there to help you remember it. It goes, je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. You know it. Watch the video, learn it. This is our second bit. So, so far so good. We're going into the future tense. We know je vais, but I can't say je vais pot. Why not? I need to say tu verb. How do you say to watch, to wear, to do in French? <laughs> you need an infinitive. Look at these three sentences and look what's wrong with them. So, Mr. Ennis likes plays football. Doesn't make sense. I want likes playing or likes to play. Mr. Ennis dislikes teachers Aaron. It's not right. It is right that I don't like teaching Aaron. But what's different, it shouldn't be dislikes teachers. What do you need to change? This is what you should have. You need to say to play or ing. And how do you do that in French? You need an infinitive, the full form of the verb unchanged with the ER, IR or RE on the end. That this means playing or to play unchanged for our second verb always. So in the future tense, you just need to put our bits together. So in the future tense, you just need to put all of this together. We've looked at the patterns. Let's put you to the test. Allons, mes petits. Donc, maintenant, you've got this on your sheet. I've got the present tense, how to say I wear, you wear, he, she, one wears. But I've taken away the last letter. I've taken away the pattern because you should know it. And here, I've got the future tense, but I've taken away the verb. Ali, if you're stuck, sing the song. Da, 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 da. Dun, 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 easy. And then I've got my infinitives here. We're going to take away the ER. Not keep it on. It means to wear, to play, to do. Down here, un, deux, toi. And then I've got a cheeky extra challenge. Il faut traduire les choses ici en français. Par exemple, numéro un, I wear. What tense is that in? Is this future or present? So what are you going to say? Is either this, this and this? Or it's this and this with a missing letter. See if you can translate these three things. And you've got an extra challenge here, which is a nice one. Put me on pause. See what you can do. On your back. Hello, me fifty. Right, guys. If you listen to me now, you had a go at this. Let's break it down and see what you know. Donc le premier, I wear. This is the present tense. So you need to take from the top. And what do we do? Porte is the verb to wear, chop it off, and then changes. All you need is je porte. Change the end and follow the pattern. This is how you say I wear. Numéro de, they wear. First off, which tense is it in? This is present tense as well. So look along here. They is here. And then what's our pattern for they wear? What do you need to add to the end in the present tense for they? ENT, so ils pot with the ENT. Now you say pot, you don't pronounce the ENT, but you've got to write it. Okay, so first two down. Well done if you got those. Look at the change between number one and number three. Present tense, future tense. Je pas is I wear. So how do you change it to I am going to wear? We need our future tense. So we need a bit that says I am going, which is je vais. And then do we change this verb? No, keep it all together. Je vais porter. I am going to wear. Well done if you got that, guys. Bon effort. Et finalement, if you had to go the extra challenge, I'm really happy with you. I'm going to play football, so I'm going to wear. So this would be an ideal sentence that you'd be able to use today to add that extra detail. So I'm going to play football, so I'm going to wear would be je vais jouer au foot. See how I put this in the future. I am going to play football. Donc is there for us. So love that word. Je vais porter with the E. You can't see it, but there is an R at the end. That is how you say I'm going to wear. 
perfect guys if you did the extra challenge i'm really really happy with your effort here if you've got this all done if you're not sure you got a few of these wrong guys just rewind the video listen to the explanation again and have another go that's what lockdown's all about you are in charge of the pace today if you're happy with this and you're ready to move on keep watching Alors, mes petits, the final thing we're looking at colors today and that leads to some questions about adjectives et voilà remember guys in french every single noun <laughs> which is the name for something so everything in french is either masculin ou féminin and they're also singular or plural but they're still masculine and feminine adjectives in french have different rules they come after the noun and they have to agree that means they match the thing they're describing so then when we're using colors you need to know which version of the word to use so this is our word for blue if you're describing something feminine you add an e on the end something plural you add an s and if it's feminine and plural es guys this is our regular pattern for adjectives that you know but not all adjectives follow this pattern and for colors loads of them don't so i've given you this as part of your handout today you've got all our colors here in english and you've got how they change from masculine and feminine plural and feminine plural they're all here you need to know how they change and you need to get the right one allons mes petits that is all the grammar for today we've got some brand new language to learn you know what to do Donc, si vous plaît, maintenant, il faut écouter moi et il faut répéter après moi, mes petits. Just tell your mum what's going on. She'll think you've lost your minds in lockdown. Si vous plaît, écoutez moi et répétez après moi. On y va. Alors, the question today is what are you wearing? Qu'est-ce que tu pas? Qu'est-ce que tu pas? Qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce que tu pas? <laughs> dab dab d'habitude dab dab d'habitude en en général en en général pas 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 aller au parc pas aller au parc pas aller en ville pas aller en ville pas aller pas aller À une fête, à une fête, pour aller à une fête, pour aller, pour aller à un mariage. Je porte, je porte, je porte, je porte. Okay, so this is our present tense. What about what you're going to wear? This would be our question. Qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce que tu vas porter? Tu vas, tu vas, tu vas porter le week-end prochain. Le week-end prochain. Pour aller au parc. Pour aller en ville. Pour aller à une fête. Pour aller, pour aller à un mariage. Je vais porter. Je vais, je vais, je vais porter. Je porte, je porte, je vais, je vais porter un, un chapeau, un, un chapeau, un chapeau, un chapeau, une, une casquette, une, une casquette, une casquette, une casquette, un sweat, un sweat, à capuche, à capuche. Un sweat à capuche, un pull, un pull, un polo, un polo, un pull, un polo, un un pantalon, un un pantalon, un jean, un jean, un un manteau, un un manteau, un manteau, un manteau. En costume, en costume, un un costume. Je porte, je porte, je vais porter. Je porte, je porte, je vais porter. 
un sac, un sac, un sac à main. Un sac à main. Un chat. Un chat. Un petit chat. Un petit shirt. Un petit, un petit, un petit shirt. Une senteur. Une senteur. Sain, sain, senteur. Une chemise. Une chemise. Une, une, une chemise. Une, une cravate. Une, une cravate. Une cravate, une cravate. Une écharpe. Une écharpe. Une, une écharpe. Une, une mini jupe. Jupe, jupe, jupe. Jupe, jupe, jupe. Une, une mini jupe. Une robe. Une robe. Une robe ou une robe. Une veste. Une veste. Une, une, une veste. Et voilà mes petits, so loads of language to learn, clothes is so important, you need to know these par car, which means off by heart, you know how this works guys, don't look at your vocab, I know you're thinking about it, donc turn it over, make sure you can't see it, et maintenant il faut dire français, anglais, français, anglais aussi rapide que possible, par exemple, let me show how it's done, pour aller, in order to go, je porte, I put on, je mets, I put on, um, un sweat, un capuche, un hoodie, un pantalon, trousers. Boom, see how fast that is. C'est à vue maintenant. Don't put me on pause. Take a minute to prepare yourself. When you think you're ready, restart the video. I'll count down from toi and I'll start and the words will start to disappear. Pause me now, year seven. Prepare yourselves. No, look in. Allo, mes petits, right guys, I'm going to down. Bon courage, toi, deux, un, allez! Alors, soyez rapide, first column is down. Rapidement, mes petits, second column's gone, about 10 seconds left, I reckon. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Oh, alors c'est fini, alors bon effort, did you get to the end, if you did well done, let's up that difficulty. Et voilà exactement la même activité, mais cette fois j'ai pris quelques lettres, donc c'est beaucoup plus difficile. Par exemple, in order to go, pour aller, ah ouais, je porte, un peu on, je mets un hoodie, un sweat, un capuche, trousers, uh, un pantalon. Voilà, even I struggle with that bit. Guys, give yourself a minute, put me on pause, when you think you're up to the challenge. Restart the video, I'll count you down and then I'll start going. Bon courage, mes petits. Alors, right, if you've restarted me, you're ready to start. Good luck. Toi, deux, un, allez. Rapidement, first column's almost gone. Soyez rapide, mes petits. Alors, moins que 10 secondes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alors, c'est fini. Bon effort. All right, if you made it to the end, you've done really well. You're ready for our next challenge. Alors, mes petits, now, we know the clothes. We have to add our colors. We're going to do a bit of revision on this. You know what to do now. S'il vous plaît, répétez après moi. Tu le... Alors, jaune, jaune. Jaune, 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 blanc, blanche, blanc, blanche, blanc, blanche, blanc, blanche, rouge, 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 rose, rose, rouge, rose, rouge, rose, rouge, rose, rouge, rouge, noir, 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 bleu, 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 gris, 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 vert, 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 
Ver, vert, vert, vert. Gris, 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 gris. Bleu, 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 bleu. Noir, 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 noir. Rose, 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 rose. Rouge, rouge. Blanche, 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 blanche. Jaune, jaune. And this is my favorite, violet. Violette. Violet, 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 violet. Violet, 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 violet. Orange, 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 orange. Marron, marron. And then some extra flowers. So to say polka dot, you say like peas. To say stripe, you say arrière, like rays. And then to say designer, like this is what I wear, you say de mag. Donc à pois, à pois, à pois, à pois. À rayeur, à rayeur, à à rayeur. De mac, de mac, de mac, de mac. Oh, you're right. We've looked at all the vocab, we've looked at the grammar. Let's try and put the two together with some speaking activities now à la maison. Et voilà, donc, I know you're thinking, how are we going to play Noughts and Crosses uh, on our own? Well, don't worry, n'inquiétez pas, parce que c'est possible, year eight. All you need is your phone and to set a 10 second timer on it. Donc, sur les portables, allez sur le minuteur et mettez 10 secondes. I've done it myself. Puis... You need to choose your favorite if you like being north or crosses, and then the other one to so say, like, I like being crosses, um, crosses, so I'm gonna start with this, and then my timer on my phone is gonna be noughts. Okay, so it's me against my timer. Pour gagner le carré, il faut traduire le carré complètement en français. Par exemple, say, if I was gonna go for this top one up here. I'd need to say usually. So if I'm talking about what usually happens, am I using the present tense or the future tense? So what sounds right? Usually I go swimming or usually I'm going to, no, it's usually I go. So I need to use the present tense and then I need to say where I'm going. So this I say usually to go to the park, pour alley or park. And then I need to say I wear whatever this is and whatever color this is. So. I need to say all four of those things in 10 seconds. If I do, I win the square. If I don't, then I have lost the machines. The phone takes the square. Let's find out. Hello, see what I can do. All right, 10 seconds on my timer. Only start the timer when you're happy, you like to do, when you're prepared, just like we would in class. All right, I'm going for this one. Time is ticking down. D'habitude, pour aller au parc, je porte, because I'm present tense, un chapeau orange. Two seconds to spare. I win the square. Right, shut up, phone, I beat you. Okay, so obviously my phone's not gonna have a go, so it's my go again. I'm going for bottom right. Those of you in the know will know where I'm going down here. So I need to say now, usually to go to town, it's a nice day in Sutton, I wear, because it's usually, so I'm present tense, a uh, purple polo. Okay, so it's un polo, masculine, so I'm gonna say viewly, which is the masculine form. So you gotta put all of that together. All right. 10 seconds on my phone, it's ticking down. D'habitude, pour aller en ville, je porte en polo, violet. Easy street, beat it by a mile, and I'm one left to defeat in my phone, and obviously I'm gonna go center square. So, same thing for you guys, that's what you need to do, there's three levels of difficulty. This is difficile, pause me now and have a go at this. Voilà, this is très difficile, this time, I've changed the pronoun, so you need to change the verb. So here you'll say, nous portons. Here you'll say, il va porter. You need to think about how to change the pronoun. And then legend difficulty is here. I've not only changed the pronoun like the last one, but I've added a little pattern. You've either got spotty or stripy. You need to complete all of these. Alors, bon effort, on y va. Allo me for tea, right guys, a brilliant effort today. We've looked at the clothes, we've looked a lot of grammar. I hope you're feeling confident that you can talk about what styles of clothes you usually wear and you've got a better understanding of the future tense. To finish off, I'm going to put you to the test. Look at the last activity on your sheet.
Hello my pretties, so we'll finish today with a little test to see what you've got. Up here you've got a grid with five people. I'm going to choose five people from these people down below. However, I'm obviously not going to say their names. I'm going to say what they usually wear in the present tense and then what they're go going to wear next weekend in the future tense. You have to listen to me. You have to understand what clothing and what colour they're wearing to work out who is who. I'm going to read them one time, but feel free to pause me, to have a look, to like rewind me, see if you can get these five people. So, let's go for it. Person numéro un dit. D'habitude, je porte un sweat à capuche. Va de Mac. Le week-end prochain, je vais porter un jean violet de Mac. Alors, person numéro 2. Il ou elle dit D'habitude, pour aller à un mariage, je porte une chemise. Jaune à poids. Le week-end prochain, je vais aller à une fête. Je vais porter une veste bleue à rayeur. Okay, who is that? Pause me. Rewind me. See if you can work out person two. Person numéro trois. D. D'habitude, pour aller à un mariage, je porte un sweat à capuche jaune. Le week-end prochain, pour aller à une fête, je vais porter une mini-jupe gris à rayeur. Ok, guys, that was tough. Person number four now. Écoutez-moi bien. Person numéro 4 dit D'habitude, pour aller au parc, je porte un chapeau noir. Le week-end prochain, pour aller à un fête, je vais porter un sweat à capuche bleu de Mac. Right, guys, à Final one before we go through the answers. I'm going to say this one quickly. Remember, you can pause me, you can rewind me. There's no cheating here. Alors, le dernier person. Person numéro 5 dit D'habitude, pour aller en mariage, je porte une robe rose. Le week-end prochain, pour aller au parc, je vais porter un sweat à capuche vert. De Mac. Right, guys, let's see what we've got. Dans person une, été. Thierry, did you get that? Person numéro deux, été Elodie. Person numéro trois, été Max. Person numéro quatre, this is a tough one, été Elodie. And our final person, person the toughest one, I said it so quick, c'était Perrine. Voilà. Right, guys. Excellent effort today. If you've got all five of those, you are on point. So, lots of language today, lots of clothes. This stuff is so important for you guys. It's all on memorize. Go on it and practice today. Make sure you know this vocabulary off by heart for next lesson. Ms. Buddy, an excellent effort today, year seven. Merci tout le monde. Au revoir. À la prochaine fois.